Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise. So in today's video, what I've decided to do is go ahead and show you guys my account. So I'm doing an account showcase slash account review. And I will also be going ahead and reviewing the game after seven days of playing this game. Actually, technically eight days. Um, I had an account that started straight away on day one. I rerolled that account. I had Troy, unfortunately, seven seven multis in uh, in the standard banner. I got an absolutely uh, absolutely bad character that I didn't really want. So therefore, I started rerolling, and I have myself this fantastic account over here. But today, I finally reached my seventh day on this account, so I was able to get this new character. Um, I actually did not know about this but this is 28 day check-in so you can actually see yeah there's, there's a lot of really awesome rewards as you carry on playing you know so I, I am happily gonna be logging in every single day just to get all of this stuff okay so we're gonna be doing a account showcase now just to be clear I have spent in this game now in terms of how much I've spent um, I believe it's 110 so 110 pounds this is pounds not dollars 110 pounds i know a lot of content creators out there have gone crazy on this game in terms of spending and stuff like that but uh for me that's that's all i want to do right now um i will be buying the battle pass but that's something that will uh take a while before i do that because i don't think i need to buy it this month i'm just gonna wait for chai's banner to come out or the next character to come out then i will buy this over here because if you buy this stuff you actually get 63 summons which i definitely would uh like so yeah perfect okay so i have spent i spent only 110 pounds i say only but to some people it might be extremely high um if you don't look at the type of packs i bought i bought the ones that i think were beneficial which were the relay pack now this is one per account so once you buy this you can't get this anymore and this was perfect honestly um this was roughly around like 780 pounds i think um and then from the diamonds i got i was able to buy um I, from the diamonds i got from here sorry um as you can see i was able to use them to buy certain stuff um in here uh i think i bought some uh bonus pack or was it mission so mission packs over here so uh, yeah i bought this one as well perfect and i bought i think that's just it for this one and then with my diamonds or whatever it's called i went ahead and buy this i bought this so yeah that's all the stuff i bought um in terms of my progression let's go ahead and take a look at my accounts um before i carry on with the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise okay so this is my account Wait a minute, something's wrong with this. Wait a minute, because if I go over to um, battle class, it says my power is there. Yeah, so how is my power low? It makes no sense. Um, I, I don't know. Now, I recently did a change. Maybe, oh, because I don't have my shadows available right now. Simply, as you can see. I don't have any shadows right now to use so maybe that's why my power has gone down a bit actually um so yeah i didn't actually know you have to buy, um, get stuff to be able to use your shadows you have to get some shades um i totally forgot about that but yeah this is my account with my song jin Ru, my chow now this account is really really good actually let me quickly go ahead and show you guys my hunters as well i recently pulled a brand new ssr which was beck yun hu he is a very good breaker character so i'm happy to get him he wasn't really the character i was aiming for in terms of my draw the one i was really aiming for was actually co because she is a perfect character to go with my team like literally perfect character to go with especially when i have the gears prepared for her which will basically increase the um the shield that she gives us which would be very very good so with my team over here i would actually take this character off um i don't i like his heals but i think having a second breakout in this team will be way better it's so because you will be able to break the bosses quicker and uh, in in general he, she also has a shield that just helps protect my characters including song jin Wu as well which will be better than his uh, heals um yeah because her shield lasts for 25 seconds where it has with his heals it doesn't last for too long uh he's a very good character though he's a very very good character though but uh i still prefer co okay in terms of my weapons this is it i do have nearly all the ssr weapon i'm only missing one of the weapons so let's go over to here uh don't forget to like the video subscribe do all of that fantastic stuff 
um yeah show your support to the channel so there's only one weapon i'm missing which is this one over here i don't think it's the best ssr weapon but obviously i'd like to have every single ssr weapon the reason why i put only weapons in here is because well they are going to be useful for my song Jin Wu. i don't really need dupes for a character the only ssr character i don't have uh, besides CEO is him and i actually don't think he's a good character I, I literally think he might be the worst i haven't tested out this character since i've gotten him from logging in seven days but i have tested this character out and his gameplay is, is is not good he doesn't seem that good honestly so very very disappointing the character that's why i'm not going for him in terms of her i didn't have her as well but i will be getting her for free not free sorry from spending so there is a pack in the shop where if you continuously buy yeah uh, so you have to buy two times a day and then on your fifth day you will be able to unlock her so there you go so i'm working on my way to actually get the character uh so that's fantastic okay so i'm happy with my account so far like i said the only thing i would really improve on this account is getting co because i do need a water character to tackle one of the very very hard and tricky boss because my main team is focused solely on fire now my second team i use when i'm going against bosses that doesn't help fire units it's the kerberus or kerbex i think it's called a kerbex or gates of hell hades or something um i'm talking about beyblade over here i don't know if i know the name of the mythical creature let me go ahead and show you guys so the free-headed um dog thingy i think it's called hades but i might be wrong um so where is it D -d 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 instant dungeon no not this one it's the end core mission so this one over here this boss particularly kerberus oh so Cer kerberus that's it uh the gatekeeper of hell yeah hades kerbex whatever um <laughs> <laughs> that's another baby the reference if you get it you get it okay so um i'm not able to clear this it's so hard literally so hard because i have my main team is with fire like i have really good like a total attack power but i can't beat this i literally can't so i'm happy that i actually managed to pull a different character that i can finally use which is beck yun hu so if i wanted to beat this i will probably just use this team instead now i had to level up some sr characters which honestly i kind of regret now but um, she's a water type character that I was, you know, building up for this particular boss. Now, he was, she was actually able to freeze him from tier 1 and tier 2. But when you got into tier 3, for some reason, she can't freeze him. So that actually annoys me. Uh, but yeah, I've worked on some SR units. The only two is this one. Like I said, the only reason I worked on them, the only thing I worked with was just the level. So I just leveled them up and that's all I did. and gave them some artifacts, literally. That's it. So it's not like I invested into them. But obviously the gold required is something that not a lot of people can actually do. So yeah, I should be able to do this, but it is technically very tricky because i don't have the right character if i had ceo it would be way easier honestly so okay for the an arachnid over here currently at tier 4 trying to work over to tier f oh wait a minute i should be able to beat this yeah i should be able to beat this i haven't challenged this but i will challenge this later on today so that's where i am in terms of content in, in terms of game mode as well you guys have seen with my chapter story i'm currently in chapter 13 i think the reason why i can't progress yet is because i need to be level 45 which i should be able to do um when i go to sleep and then wake up and claim the idol feature okay so we have two more chapters left and in terms of going over to sorry about this oops 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 loading screen pisses me off okay oh my days bruh okay there we go so in terms of the challenge i am currently in chapter nine um of challenge i saw i just got a uh, the dupe weapon for the scythe so it's actually duped up once now um in terms of actually yeah, there's dupes as well that you guys probably want to pay attention to as well so i do have dupes for this weapon i have a dupe for the grimoire as well and i think that's it now when it comes to hunters i do have a lot of dupes i have a dupe for my ming ming gong Yu, dupe for emma and i think that's it uh, with the current event available as well since i was able to do a lot of summons i was actually able to you know rank up relatively high in here as well um as you rank up characters you actually gain a lot of points because we take a look at mission list 70 yeah there you go advance a character you get a lot of points so that's why i'm currently right here i'm not really trying to challenge this all i really want to be honest is uh just to claim all the rewards from the bottom but it's not like it's a good amount of reward in general this event just sucks i already made a video on that so yeah in terms of my account progression it has been good decently well 
uh, I need just I just need to start you know working on my other characters that I have because I can't always use them in every single content um, elemental types are very important I remember when I started playing this game I wasn't too sure whether elemental types were that important but from what I can see it is extremely important especially when you're going to get specific bosses especially when you unlock some of the other game modes like battlefield of time when you have to do this like not this one sorry when you have to do this one over here like fighting her or fighting the arachnid you actually needed a light because it made it easier for you to rank so my ranking wasn't that great and i didn't really challenge this too much so for this one over here i need water oh my days this is so bad for me for water weapons oh i do have the grimoire though so that's actually good let me see is anyone participating right now okay i'm just gonna so there's a practice one okay perfect so in terms of my Song Jun Wu, in terms of my build, I actually recently just switched out his build. So I gave him this build, which I do need to you know improve on because I'm still missing. I'm still missing the gear. The last piece of the gear to make him have the full force set. So yeah, I need I do need to farm some boots. So I'm trying to get the set, which is basically increasing your power gauge acquisition rate by 20% uh, and then also when the battle starts charge power gauge by 50% and additional increase the player and the party powers gauge acquisition rate by 20% so I do want to get this but obviously I'm, I have an issue with this piece over here for the second one over here it's when the HP is currently at level uh, 70% I am able to increase my damage up to 30% which is actually very very good um, so yeah that's pretty good Water damage increase from this one. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So I'm not trying to. I haven't mid maxed my my you know gear. And I haven't even leveled up my gear. So that's something I do need to do as well to increase my power. I can definitely do that, but I just don't want to use my my gold basically. Even though I spent, I have used a lot of gold already. So yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I don't use that much gold, especially on pieces that I I will easily swap out. Because these are all blue ones. Eventually, I get purple. Eventually, I get the gold ones. So I definitely will soon start switching out my gears and whatnot later on. So in terms of reviewing the game, so I think this game is absolutely fantastically made. However, I do have a slight worry, and that is usually with just like the company itself, so Netmarble in general. Because uh, what Netmarble love is money, and I've always noticed with every single Netmarble game, monetization always becomes an issue. Right now. Obviously, you guys have already made a video going over whether this game is paid to win or not. But it's technically like a, a game where paid to win gets a huge benefit because gold is lacking right now. So main issue in this game is gold. The banners don't have a guarantee. PT does carry over, which is great. But in general, the gold is just a huge, huge situation right now that definitely needs to be resolved because that's literally the only thing slowing down free to play players progression. And that's why there is a huge difference in progression between paying customers and free to play players so if that gets fixed that would be great but in general i'm, I'm skeptical on how netmarble is going to handle this game because the game starts off usually they're free to play friendly and then later on they might start adding new features in this game that just absolutely suck especially what i'm worried about is when they add costumes that probably increases stats that's one of the main thing that i'm very very worried about there is costumes for song Jun Woo, but none of them gives us stats and it's like the epic one i am very very worried that in the future what they're going to do is you know give us a, a costume where there's stats linked behind which i don't really like the idea of so that would suck that would absolutely suck but now marvel in general i am a little bit worried that they might just make this game a lot more like pay to win moving forward right now the game is decently made like i said the only real issue is the gold the events being garbage as well for like free to play players the specific ones but uh so far if the banners actually if the banner rotation is once every month i think that's kind of dry because we if we have to wait 21 days before the next banner that would suck but it could just be because this is a test server they had to increase the duration of this banner specifically so that uh, they don't release too many characters in the test server so that when global comes out they don't have those characters because the server is going to be linked the only thing though is that you you will have your own mini server guys i'm currently in my own my own mini server i am in server 65 and what i mean is if you take a look at the ranking over here this is for my server so right uh, server 65 this is the characters or players that i'm being ranked uh ranked against 
so yeah you will have your own mini server so it doesn't actually matter that this the game has one server in general because you will have your own mini server where the people that log in at the same time as you will be placed with your server and therefore you won't actually see like people that have been early access people who have an early access accounts you shouldn't really be challenging them or see them in any of the rankings for your own specific server so like battlefield uh, is it battlefield yeah battlefield of time challenge i'm pretty sure it's going to be with people from my server only um is that 58 seconds oh this is tier one okay cool 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 um that's fine that's fine okay yeah in terms of review i think the game is fantastically made i do think the people people are going to enjoy this game especially when they log in for the first three days this game will be so fun and um, like so fun to you know uh, live stream yeah so i think i might actually live stream the game when it got, comes out globally i won't start a new account i'm sticking with this account actually i might start a new account so that i can make videos on those new accounts showing you guys how to progress in this game and whatnot um so yeah stay tuned for that don't forget to like and subscribe let me know down in the comment section what your account is like as well in terms of your progression and how lucky you have been in the game it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out